the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 8th of October. I'm James Spann. Got a weekend cool down coming up and some rain before the cool air arrives. Maybe some thunder tomorrow night. Check it out. Big upper low over Old Mexico this afternoon. That will be lifting out over the next 24 hours. Polar jet stream to the north that will be dipping to the south. And a few showers in progress over northwest Alabama. That was the radar at 133. Uh, as expected, uh, the HRRR performed very well today. Most of the showers are west of I-65, north of Interstate 20. Those fade away once the sun goes down later this evening. Mostly 80s on the board, Birmingham at 83. We stay in the 80s tomorrow. After that, highs drop back in the 70s for the weekend. In fact, some of the cooler pockets could see 40s by Sunday morning. To the west, flash flood watches for parts of West Texas and southeast New Mexico. Looks like some counties in, out there under flash flood warnings. That's the convective outlook, a marginal risk around the Rio Grande of Texas, otherwise uh, general thunder possible up toward the Great Lakes. And then tomorrow, with the approach of that front, uh, we could see some thunder here late tomorrow or tomorrow night, but the storm should not be severe. There is a marginal severe weather risk around Baltimore, Washington, D.C., and Philadelphia. Here's the rain for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday morning of next week, about a half inch for the northern quarter of the state. The amount's lighter down to the south. And really, I don't think it rains much at all at Gulf Shores. Should be very nice for everybody headed down for the Shrimp Festival this weekend. It kicks off uh, tomorrow. And off in the tropics, things are quiet. Joaquin is now post-tropical, north of the Azores, headed toward Portugal. Otherwise, things are just very calm, and that's a good thing. Let's check out the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow, 1 o'clock local time. Really, the upper low doesn't lift out, does it? It just kind of sits there. When I said it's going to lift out, I take that back. It's not, but the uh, polar jet is dipping down to the south and a cold front approaching from the north tomorrow. And again, we'll start to introduce the chance of a few showers over north Alabama tomorrow afternoon, a better chance of showers and storms around here tomorrow night this is the high res nam valid at 10 o'clock and you can see a batch of showers and storms passing through and uh, it just certainly looks like some of the high school football games might have a lightning delay not all of them but maybe some of them so uh, and certainly take the rain gear if you got a game the good news uh, saturday everything's gone this is saturday morning at seven rain out of here i think we can just take the rain out for saturday morning since it looks like the showers will end probably by 3 a.m the day Saturday looking very nice, ample sunshine, and the high in the low 70s. Dew points dropping down in the low 50s, a very nice day, rain well to the east. Sunday will be close to 50 as the day begins. Colder pockets go in the 40s. Sunday should be a bright sunny day with a high in the upper 70s. Next week, Monday stays dry, will be close to 80. We note a cold front west of the state trying to squeeze out a few rain showers around Little Rock. I don't think it rains here from that. The air just looks too dry. I guess we might mention... A small chance of a shower late Monday night or maybe Tuesday with that, but the moisture is so limited. And then during the day Tuesday, a new surge of dry air drops in. Again, highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. Wednesday of next week, we're dry. And a week from today, this is Thursday, October 15th. Got a 588 ridge beginning to build, so we'll probably see numbers creeping back up toward the low 80s. And again, that looks dry. Here's the end of the forecast, Sunday, October 18th. We've still got ridging here. And down below that, it's a dry air mass. Temperatures for the next 15 days. You can see the nice weekend cool down. We get up close to 80 by the middle of next week, and then a really nice cool down in about 10 to 15 days with highs dropping in the 60s by October 22nd and 23rd, if, of course, this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.